Hey folks, what's going on out there? It's Lumps Clown. Today I'm going to be playing a little bit something different than what I have been doing. Dimension Drive. And this is put out by Two Awesome Studios, which is comprised of David Jimenez and Alejandro Santiago. And these guys have done amazing work in regards to vertical shmups. And this one takes a different spin as a twist. A uh, couple of ones that I've seen right off. Number one, it actually has a dual split screen that you can swap between uh, when you're going through shooting enemies and everything else. It's bullet hell. Just like a lot of the vertical shmups that you've seen, uh, it kind of reminded me of Galaga a little bit uh, with a new spin on it. Because uh, if you remember those vertical shmups, they actually had just the one screen and it was a vertical shot just straight up. And there was absolutely nothing else going on in there. Uh, so they took developers took a look at that, decided that they needed to add a little bit something different to expand the action in the screen, and they did a beautiful job of it. And when we get in here, it's got amazing music, it's got amazing graphics, and the action is intense. And you get two different modes that you can select from. One's like modern, it's a lot more forgiving, and then you have the other one, which is arcade style, and that one's pretty hardcore. I only got about two levels to work with, and then it's the game's over because it's a beta version. But without any further ado, I'm going to get in here and I'm going to show you folks what it's about. All right, as you can tell, the graphics in this game are absolutely amazing. Look at this shit. Fucking spaceships, everything. You got your options, uh, which in here you can uh, turn the music off or on. All right, so now that we're in here, take a look at this open screen. This is amazing. This gets my blood fucking pumping already. So we got play, of course, play uh, options. You got options to turn the music off or on, uh, as well as sound effects, graphics quality. I got mine set to good, but I'm gonna slap it onto two awesome just for the fuck of it. So I'm pretty sure that my PC can handle it. And help, of course, this gives you the options uh, for your uh, keyboard controls as well as control. As you can tell, I'm using my Xbox 360 controller. And we hit next here. And this kind of gives you a rundown of how to play. So a jump hit, switch frequently. Oh yeah, so you can't just lean on the trigger button when you're going into this game, no, no, no. What happens is, is that you have to conserve your energy and jump between the two screens in order to last long. You don't want to get hit one time and a bat game over. You do get shields and everything else, so that's cool. But let's go ahead and go back. Let's get into the meat of this. All right, so arcade is no shield, one hit equals one life, no auto jump, recommended for experienced players. So that's gonna be up to you to determine when it's time to jump or not. And then you got modern, which is shield, several lives, auto jump, uh, which would be the, the computer will determine when your life is low and swap you over to the next screen automatically. Uh, that's recommended for new players. I've been doing shmups for a bit, so let's go ahead and do arcade. So you get your choices here between level 1 and level 2. Many millennia ago, the Ashajul conquered their universe thanks to warp drives that allowed them to travel instantly. The universe is composed of infinite dimensions and now the Ashmajuls want to conquer them all with a fleet equipped with dimension drives. The Fligende is a legendary ship capable of performing warp and dimension jumps and be small enough for a single pilot. You are Jacqueline Tywood, captain of the Fligians. Do you have what it takes to stop the Ajazul fleet from conquering your universe? They are now attacking Planet Vane. You have to protect them. I probably butchered a few words in there, but you get the idea. So, jump is the A button on the Xbox controller. Your right trigger is going to be how you shoot. See how my energy goes down as I hold that down? It really makes you think. And of course, that pink dot on the right there represents where your ship is going to appear if you happen to jump over to the next screen. Ah, uh, see, look at that. I got him fucking power up, too. Oh, no. Oof, that was close. Shit. We got fucking bullets coming in all directions. Now, I did tell my good buddy Agro about this over the game of Rebellion. Uh, he is the shrunk master, and I'm hoping he gives this a try, because this is amazing. Whoa, 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 whoa. That was almost a bad spot for me to be in. 
Whoa, shit! Yeah, enemies will bum rush the screen, so watch out for that shit. Oh, boy! <laughs> Uh, get him, get him, get him, get him. Alright, jump. I'm gonna knock this out. Get this guy. Ah, fuck. Now, I should say, though, that aside from Galaga and Radius and Supernova, uh, aka uh, Darius Twin, I haven't really done much once. I'd love to get more acquainted. Uh, some good buddies of mine on Twitter have been telling me all about their recommendations. I believe Silverlight was one, I think is the name. I don't know, I'm so shitty with remembering shit like that. Uh, fuck! See, I wasn't paying attention. I gotta go! Now, I'm not sure, but I'm pressing that button, it seems like I'm almost like you gotta press it twice in order to jump to the other screen. But isn't this exciting? I mean, holy shit. You get dual screens, action, shmup, I mean, holy fuck. That guy's getting low. Let's see if I can get to the final boss, shall we, folks? Uh, Alright, got his ass kicked in. Uh, I mean, the uh, variety of enemies that I'm seeing so far is absolutely crazy. The action's intense, and I really can't wait to see what Two Awesome brings to the table with the finished product. I mean, it's gonna be fucking cool. Uh, it's just too bad that you can't kill a group of enemies and get power-ups like you would in other schmucks that I've played before, such as Supernova. Uh, and the arcade, of course, is always the best place to play these types of games, if you ask me. Just go in there with a roll of quarters, right? Just go in there and try to tear shit up best you can. Music alone will be enough to get you a lot of these. Oh, God. See, he's got low energy, and now he's facing the fucking boss. I don't know how I'm gonna get that full energy. I'm like totally stuck right now. Ugh. Okay, but it looks like he's powering back up again. I'm gonna let him cook for a second. Shit! Look how many bullets that boss fires up. This is crazy. Yeah, they go slow, but you know what? I mean, they're fucking all over the place. It's like trying to navigate a maze. Alright, he's getting a little too hot over there. And that guy will do full screen attacks like what you're seeing right there, so watch out for him. Ah, get him, get him, get him, get him. And you can tell you're hitting him when the blood starts coming out like that. And I don't know if that green shit hurts me or not, but I don't want to find out. Oh, shit! Uh-oh. Ah. Oh, I got him! Fucking got him. <laughs> Alright, so that was level one. Beautiful. Alright, we're gonna go back in for level two now, arcade, of course. The Ashajul fleet is on its way to planet Tark after destroying Bane. You need to get to Tark faster than them. The good news a huge asteroid field protects the planet and will blow them down. The bad news you need to jump through the asteroid field also. Warning your shields will not protect you from the asteroids. Oh yeah, baby. It sounds Ready. intense. Ready. Look at this fucking shit. I haven't played level 2 yet. I got these little fucking caverns and everything I gotta roll through. Ooh. Now again, be mindful when you're jumping. Make sure your guy's not in a bad spot like my guy is right there. Whoa! Uh -oh. oh my god, this is fucking crazy intense. See, look, you wind up at a dead end, and you gotta navigate that ship into a spot where you're not gonna fuck your other guy. Oh. Cool, I got a shield. Awesome. Oh well, damn it, I biffed it right there. Ready. 
Look at this fucking Ready. thing. These guys are crazy. Ready. Alejandro, Ready. David, you guys are nuts. I gotta applaud you though for making a pretty fucking Ready. epic game. Whoa. Ready. Shit. Go, go, go. Whew. Okay, lucky I wound up on the right screen instead. That's going a little too fast for me to navigate. Oh god. Holy shit. This is like some fucked up version of Castlevania. Uh. Fuck! Damn it. Ready. Ready. Shield. Cool, I got a shield. Awesome. Watching my firepower. Looks like we got three Ready. asteroid belt. Ah! Cool, I got him, got him, got him. Move out of the way. These guys like to bump rush it. Alright, got him. Excellent. Uh oh, something big's happening. Sector clear. That's it. What the fuck? Alright, we're gonna try that again. I want to see if I can get through that belt this time. No death. Alright, we gotta time this just right. Ready. Ready. Let's see if I can do it. Ready. Woo! Ready. Do it! Ready. Yeah, Ready. boy! Woo! Fuck! But listen to this music. Definitely gets the heart going. Ready. 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 Shit! So close! Alright, moment of truth. Let's do it. Ready. 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 Yeah. Ready. 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 All right, here we go. Moment of truth. Moment of truth. Let's do it. So, not only do you have to pay attention uh, to the one side of the screen to make sure you're not going to smack a wall like that. You also have to try to find the lowest point on the other side try to aim for that. Ready. So it's a lot of strategy involved. And I can only imagine later Ready. levels are going to... They're going to use this and exploit Ready. it to its bloody end. And it's going to be brutal. Ah! Ready. Ah! Ready. Ready. Can I do it? Yes, I can. Ready. 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 Shit! That close! Alright, here we go, folks. Here we go. Do or die. Ready. 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 Ready, jump. Ready, jump. Ready, jump. Ready, jump. Ready, jump. Ready, jump. Yeah! Woo! I did it. I ended up getting through that asteroid belt wall phase. Now that shit was crazy. Now, kudos to David and Alejandro for coming up with that. That is amazing. Woo! -wee! That was intense, folks.
Well, as you saw, that was Dimension Drive put out by two awesome studios, two awesome guys working on it. And I got to applaud them for going full bore and coming up with an innovative and awesome way to get an extra screen on there and heighten the action for you. It's a lot more intense when you got two ships to worry about simultaneously. And as the two go about the screen like so, then you can definitely, yeah, you have to be able to be strategic. You have to know where the other ship is at all times. And that's just the way it is. So being this is just a beta, I'm not expecting this to be full-blown game just yet, but from what I can tell, it's going to be absolutely amazing. And I cannot wait for two awesome studios to release the final product. I'm definitely going to be on board getting a hold of that. Well, this has been Lumps the Clown with Game and Rebellion, taking a look at two awesome studios, Dimension Drive. I want to say thank you very much for watching, and Lumps the Clown out.